Hey guys, what's up? John here from Plus Nine Films, and today's video is going to be the behind the scenes video for the Stealing Bullets short that we just came out with on April 15, 2012. It's early, and it's not actually in the morning, it's afternoon now, it's 12 16. So I just sort of woke up like at like 11, so my voice sounds funny. Not my fault. So let's get into how I edited the video. This is the editing platform I use, it's Sony Vegas Pro 10. It's easy to use, so that's why I use it. This is the video footage. This is actually this is the video raw before I rendered it. So this is all all the stuff I edited. Looks messy, but it look, doesn't look that messy to me. So that's why I do it. So this is the raw footage right here that we all we put into the editing software, right here. And this is the original audio. It was way too windy to keep the original audio, so we took it out, and we just replaced it with music. Or I did. I edit most of the videos. Uh, Bill directs them. Nick occasionally uses, does the camera work, but he wasn't here this one. So me and Bill switched up and used both of them. That's why we're not in very many scenes together, because we both had to hold the camera, or I had to hold the camera when it was his scenes, and he had to hold the camera when it was my scenes. So that's why you won't see us in the same scene that often, unless it, the camera's on a tripod. We try not to use tripods all the time, because we like the flowing and the moving. We like a little camera shake. Sorry about the background noises, I'm in my living room, because my mic upstairs broke. Um, so we're moving on, this is the music, like I said. I mixed it myself. I wanted a dramatic feel when I picked up the gun. The whole video is dramatic, but I wanted a little more dramatic here. So I added a different type of music. Uh, this is the VFX line. So what I did here, this is like the muzzle flashes and the bullet, uh, the blood hit. So that's what that is. They're here and here because this is the drive-by scene and this is where I come running out the door. Now this all up here from like from here up, from here from like here, right here up is all sound effects because the bullets are shot a lot and I wanted to have sound effects for each shot obviously so and there's blood hits in here too so that looks pretty good here um, uh, right now I'll, I'll show you guys a side by side comparison for the video that of for the color correction because this isn't color corrected yet I had to render it out once sorry if this video is confusing I haven't done a behind the scenes yet I'll probably uh, hopefully I'll get better and if I don't that sucks. Um, the last thing I want you guys to do is go to the Facebook fan page. If you're on the YouTube channel, you can find it right through. Just scroll down a bit if you're on the YouTube channel. Scroll down and hit the Facebook fan page button right here. And click it and it'll send you right here. And just like it because we're working on a feature, a feature length film in the future. So we want to gain a bigger viewership and more respect in the filmmaking community. So, I'll show you guys the color correction now, and let's get on to that. So this is the side-by-side -side comparison. So the raw video is the video without the color correction, and the CC video is the color correction video. So, basically you can really tell there's a difference because it's a little darker in the CC video and a little more, the hue's a bit blue. In the raw video, there's not much. The muzzle flash was a bit too bright, so we had to go in and tune it all down, or I had to go in and tune it all down, so it was really time-consuming. And you can really tell like the sky, for example, and the grass. The grass is a little less green, and the sky is a little, like a brighter blue. It makes it look a little, a little more animated. And this is a slow motion scene, so the color correction was really necessary for the slow motion because it made the gun like pop a bit more of the silver 